Good morning, everybody. How are you? Welcome to Morning Talks with Ro. I know I missed you guys yesterday. So I'm hopping on today to say, what up? It's been a minute, right? Um, I didn't even make an announcement before I did this video. So I'm going to wait to see who might want to come in and chop it up with Ro Beasy this morning. Good day, everybody. I got a full one on board. Can you even see me? I know my eyes are kind of covered right now, huh? Maybe I'll take my glasses off. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the conversation. How are you? <laughs> Welcome to Morning Talks with Ro. What up? Hey, Byron. Is that what that says? Brian. Hey, Brian. Good morning, Tiffany and Gary. Hey, y'all. How are you? I know I didn't even make an announcement before I jumped on. I just was like, you know what? I didn't do morning talks with Ro yesterday. I had a full day. Um, and so I, I like to be as consistent as possible with doing this uh, stuff. Hey, Trey. <laughs> hey, Shay. Uh, so I like to be as consistent as possible with doing this so I can drop in and, and share the love, right? Share the, the information and then just be available for breakthrough if someone needs it. This is part of uh, how I am of service. Um, how are you of service? In what way do you contribute or do you at all? And would you consider doing that? There's so many good reasons to be of service. You know, whether we're thinking from a spiritual level or just a material level. There's one guy, I think I told you about him months ago. I, um, his name is Bill Krause. His whole ministry is on how he, um, how he develops or attracts prosperity. It's through giving. It's amazing. Like, he gives on such a level that it's like astounding. <laughs> like, whoa. But that's how he creates prosperity in his life. So, um, you may have heard the concept you know, when you want something for yourself, give that thing to someone else. Help someone else to achieve, um, you know, what it is that you would like to do. It's very interesting how that works, the law of reciprocity, you know. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Gary says, I help those suffering from addiction and being sober almost 18 years. Congratulations. That's got to be some very powerful, rewarding work, right? Whoa. Uh, good morning, Nashua. Welcome to the conversation. I see we got everybody in the joint. It's international up in here. Good morning, Miss Lady. So does anybody have any questions of me? I know that we are running up on the last two months of 2018. Can you believe it? 2018 is almost complete. What have you done this year? Have you taken some inventory for what's happening? Is my twin in here? Did I just see my twin say hello? Let me see. What up, Mr. Marvelous? How are you? Now I get to dote on you a little bit. One of my buddy mentors, um, just amazing at what he does. Beautiful heart, um, very smart, and is a champion in his own right. You know, the way that he applies the philosophies and tools and principles that I believe uh, and that I work myself. Uh, he is a personification of that and he works with a lot of amazing artists and um, at the top of his game. Kudos to you. You know I got to give you a shoulder brush. Good morning to you. Hey, Cy um, Nation. And I, I, my intention is to be at the MMC reunion. We're getting ready to do, uh, for those of you who don't know, I used to be a Mouseketeer. And we're coming up on our 30th year reunion. Like, that's kind of amazing to me that 30 years ago, this show was created. And uh, I don't know how many of you are aware, but there have been a lot of talented people who have had uh, breakout careers. Uh, some of them being Justin Timberlake and Christina Aguilera and Britney Spears and Carrie Russell and Ryan Gosling and <laughs> Dale Guy Boldo. And uh, there's so many that are even behind the scenes um, that have been working their magic. Some executive producers and some who are incredible parents. Um, just and, and then some who, who are stupid talented that just didn't decide to go and, you know, I don't know, break out onto the scene in another way. So many talented people, uh, so many amazing humans. And I think one of the most powerful things about being a part of that group is how beautiful our bond is still to this day. The level of support and love 
that we have for each other and show to each other to this day is awesome. And then the next level is the fans. Everybody who has stayed connected, it's like we grew up together. I don't know what this phenomena is, the MMC Nation, but it's so dope to be a part of. Shout out to all the Mouseketeer um, family, right? What's up, everybody? Good morning. Let me see what little things I might be missing that people are saying. Um, <laughs> hey, Samad. Happy Tuesday. Hey, Khaldun. Good morning, darling. Um, okay. I think, I, I think. <laughs> Good. Hey, Aisha. Hey, baby. Thank you so much, Naliji. Uh, when will your mates come to Dallas to perform? Not sure. Um, yes, I was. Yes, I was a Mouseketeer. Uh, yes, I was. Okay. Hey, Michael and Shirley. So, um, we're in the last, we're, we're running up on the last two months of 2018. What have you accomplished? Are you happy with what you've done this year? And if not, if you could choose one thing that you could get done before 2018 is up, what would that thing be that would make you feel accomplished or better about what you've achieved in this year? What would that one thing be? If you haven't done anything yet, or if you haven't done something that you feel is significant enough to feel like you've made enough of a contribution or made enough of, right, um, 2018, what would that one thing be? And if I can help to put you, give you some action steps today, like let's say you're like, well, I would love to accomplish this role, but I don't know how to get to it. This is your opportunity to holler at me <laughs> and let me know what it is you feel you want to do but you don't know how to get there maybe it's maybe it's one thing that I could say or the dope thing about the morning talks with Roe community is that you got so many other champions in this chat on a regular basis they will chime in and give you resources they will chime in and give you action steps they will chime in and help you to see things from a, a different perspective and let me just tell you I had a student reach out to me yesterday and gave me like you know an impromptu um like testimonial if you will and she just dropped in and she said you know it's amazing how just a shift in perspective can help you to step into your champion shoes basically I'm paraphrasing she she from going through PPU and just in general living her life and applying these principles she now has a whole other perspective on things and because of that shift inside not outside the shift on the inside is creating and generating something different for her on the outside. That's how powerful this is. So if I can help you to, or someone in this chat can help you to just get a slight tweak on your perspective or a slight tweak on what direction you're going in, you just never know if that's going to change your trajectory. Trajectory. And the next level of whatever you're looking for could be on the other side of that. That's how quick this thing can happen. It could be a quantum leap. <laughs> in 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 movement for you sometimes it's just a tweak in perception that's how powerful this work is for you and all you got to do is apply it and be consistent and i say all you got to do a lot of people don't do that that's the problem be bacon that's what, you know the name of my program be once you turn once a pig becomes bacon there's no turning back from being bacon it makes the ultimate sacrifice the ultimate commitment can you imagine if you were like that about your goals you didn't stop doing whatever you needed to do or becoming whoever you needed to become until you see the results of what you set out to get that's being bacon are you willing to do that and then not getting too caught up, right? You're going in the direction of your goals, right? That's what you desire, but not getting too caught up in when it's going to happen or how it's going to happen so that you don't miss all the goodies that are happening along the way because life is happening along the way. And you also want to just be present to that. Okay, let me see what y'all are saying. Um, <laughs> okay. Wow, you guys are talking today. I love it. Okay, um, I know I'm missing some of the stuff y'all are saying. Sorry about that. Are y'all going to drop the mic? We did that yesterday. Care more about me and don't feel guilty about it. All right now, the true gift of giving is giving to those uh, anonymous, anonymous, anonymously. Hello. <laughs> uh, that way the ego is out of the equation. So be it. Um, let's see. 
Aloha Tribe. I want to be an actor and an entertainer in LA. Beautiful. Dominique, are you already working towards that? Trey, yes, I'm happy. I, I just need to film another project and do another speaking engagement before 2019. Okay, Trey, uh, are you on track for that? Have you set some deadlines up? Do you have some things in place? Noonie, good morning. I have some uh, new R&B songs you should hear, Shy Town. Okay. I've accomplished being the best single mom I can be this three years. Bless up, Stephanie. Good evening, Tracy. Okay, reached out to the to be the I reached out to be the best good person. What do you mean by that, Dominique? Shirley says I have an amazing 2018 so far. I know you've been kicking 2018s behind. I have to go coach work to do. Okay, go have a great one, Shirley. Hey, Taz. Good morning, darling. Beverly says I'm proud of myself. Not done moving forward. That's what's up. You know you've been kicking uh 2018s, but two. <laughs> Uh, you're being bacon today. Bless up, Tez. Tez is in PPU. Come on, next level. Stephanie Wong. Um, but work-wise, I need... What I need to, uh, to get is in a better job. And what I love is the travel industry. I work at AAA now. And an emergency call center started there being able to... Okay. Um, call center started there to be travel department. But I'm finding some funny business going on with my numbers and more, okay? Due to being one of the top three at 91%. So I feel they're trying to, uh, I don't know if I'm understanding your whole thing. Are you just saying that you're, you, you feel like there's some hanky-panky basically going on at your job and quite possibly you need to consider uh, where else you can go or what else you need to do as far as your work is concerned? Where is all this love coming from? I love it. Hey, thank you for all that love. Um, sorry, Michael, I have a client speak to you soon, okay? Uh, Terrell, hey, my friend, I just finished 12 weeks of radiation and chemo, and I rang the bell. Very emotional today. Bless up, Terrell. Welcome to the conversation, sweetheart. Very happy to have you here. If anything, just sit here in love, and if you feel um, inspired to share something from your experience, because, I mean, just, mm. it's really interesting, right, when we go through something that challenges our health. Because a few things can happen with that. One of them is, is, is our level of appreciation for just the opportunity to be alive. The other one is the, the things that we end up that we don't realize we're taking for granted that are so valuable. And it could be just the fact that you're not worried about your health, right? It's such a luxury to go after a goal. Nobody knows that sometimes until you something challenges you and you can't do it when you're more focused on staying alive than you are on going after something you think you want. So bless up to you uh, for the experience that you're having right now. I hope that it's, it, it's enriching you in ways that you didn't know that it could, even though it might scare you, even though it might put you under a, a lot of stress at times. I hope that you are finding pockets of joy and that you're finding pockets of clarity for what else it could mean to you that could empower you and then enable you to be of service with what you have gained and learned about yourself and what you've gone through. I hope that makes sense. And holla at me. Talk to me. I'll, uh, thank you for being here this morning, Terrell. Um, good morning. You should check out some. Okay. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Hey, Mule. Greetings, Queen. You know uh, what I've accomplished this year. Coach. Yes, Michael and Keisha would love to hear from you. I'm proud of you. Uh, hey, Low Base. Welcome to the conversation. I have a college degree and travel and tourism. Okay. What would you like? Would you like to continue to work that degree? Or are you looking to swerve, Stephanie? Um, Florida and North Carolina. Okay, yeah, that's right, baby. Uh, D. King says, I'm setting the goal to be back in the gym before the year is up. Okay, give me a deadline in this chat, D. I'm challenging you. Just trying to be a good person. Don't try then, right? Just figure out what that means to you. What does is, what is being a good person look like? If you are showing up in the world and being a good person, what kind of qualities and traits does a good person have in your eyes? You know, what? Um, there's, a, there's something that I t have taught over time uh, called the three words, living an intentionful life. If you could pick three words, right, that, that would inspire the best in you. So like, for example, my three words are excellence, endurance, and compassion. If I allow those three words to inspire my behavior and inspire what I say next, what would life look like from that perspective or from that vantage point? You feel me? So a lot of us can pick three words. You could pick more if you want to, but I like three. I like to do things in threes. And it's the way that I picked up this tool. But you can use three words in your life, overarching. What, would, what three words could drive you to be your best self? 
if you if you allowed those three words to inspire you and to spark your intentions in the moment, what would you say next and what would you do next? That's a way that you can become a good person, right? A better person. Okay. Hey, y'all. Uh, Ashley secured a three-night performance in December at a restaurant here in Philly and preparing new music for 2019. Bless up, baby. Keep it up. Stephanie says, I need to get towards my dream, not let them uh, hold me back. The only person really that can hold you back is you, Stephanie. So if you want to, you, um, uh, I do do personal coaching sessions. Uh, you can check it out at RonaBennett.com. If you ever want to work with me on an individual basis, I'd be more than happy to help you. Hey, Kevin. Um, Shirley, you must be... <laughs> Church. I'm kicking 2018. Blood. Bless up, Dominique. Uh, okay. Hello from Alabama. Hey, Amy. Thanksgiving. Good day. What up, Jordan? Hey. What up, Taz? Okay. Thank you, Dominique. Don't give up. Be proud of myself and help people. That's right, Nashua. But I want you to help yourself first. You know what? Hmm. Be careful helping so many other people that you don't help yourself first, you guys. Don't give from depletion. A lot of people are out here giving from the depletion because they think that that's, I don't know, like you being a good person, but you're all the while not honoring yourself you're not taking care of yourself so what example is that setting for the people that you're even helping don't you want to give from power right give from uh, a space of of more fullness some of us i know some people in in, in this chat that are giving from depletion be careful i want you to take care of you too Take care of you first so that you can give from the overflow. Right? Sometimes we can get caught up. It happens to me sometimes. I got to pull my coat tail. Like, hey, kid. Hey, man. Hey, take care of you. You giving from depletion right now? Okay, let's see. Are you coming to Detroit? Don't know. Um, okay. Being humble, confident, and optimistic is what drives me. Uh, to be my best. Bless up, Jorday. Your three words, D. All right, I like somebody's adding three words to the chat. Decency, dignity, and integrity, followed by loyalty and respect. If you allow those words to be what you intend in every moment you come into, can you imagine what your life is going to look like? Decency, dignity, and integrity. That's major. So think about that, you guys. If you choose three words, it doesn't have to be those three. It may be something else that, that inspires you. But can you imagine if you allow whatever three words you choose to inspire what your next, the, the way that you speak in the moment, how you speak to someone or something, and, and what you do in the moment. What would your life, how, how would your life shift? Such a powerful exercise, man, I can't tell you. Ah, uh, okay, Dominique, come check me out at RonaBennett.com. It would be my pleasure. Taz says her personal coaching is God sent from whoever want to level up their life. Thank you, Taz. Um, Stephanie, love to all on their accomplishments. Thank you for encouraging people. Oh my God, Ro, I'm completely done with the court requirements for my children. And I'm killing this media school and I'm excited about 2019. I have my drone. Oh, shucks, you got through the uh, court stuff. Good for you, baby. Yeah. Um, drone licenses, I can fly them and make money commercially. And I run the teleprompter and Radeon Broadcasting is looking for... All right, now, church, giving you a shoulder brush from afar, babe. Congratulations. Yes, you are proud of PPU alumni. Taz, such... Ah, bless up. Man, our family is off the charts. Just thought I'd say that. Um, okay. But I feel... That's right, Nashua. You know... You know what I'm talking about. Hey, Xavier. I want to work. Okay. Oh my God. Yes, please. I love your help. Um, Stephanie, come and check me out at RonaBennett.com. It'd be my pleasure, babe. Re Rebecca, good morning, Rona. Rebecca Washington. Okay. Bless up, Rebecca. Hey, cuz old Teresa. I love it when I can catch up. With you. All right. I love you. 
I did that for the longest time, giving from depletion. I now get from my overflow. I love it. Bless up. Come on. Like there's there's a whole other energy and space and level of availability that you can give from when you give from the overflow and not depletion. What when you're in depletion, what what are the what are the traits or characteristics that can come with depletion? And then you're giving to people from that, but we think, you know, we're doing them good. And sometimes you may be, but you're you may be doing yourself bad. And sometimes you may not even be doing them good because you're giving from depletion. Be careful with that. You can lose yourself giving in, from depletion. And you're thinking you're doing the right thing, giving, 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 but you're not giving to yourself. You're not taking care of you. So many sacrificial lambs out here, but for what? At what cost? At what cost? And how much more healthy is it to give from the overflow, to give when you've been taken care of, when you've done the work on the inside, when you're nurturing yourself? Yeah, it won't always be, you know, perfect, no, whatever that is. You won't always be in alignment with your best, blah, blah, blah. But work towards that, right? You don't want to be on a consistent basis giving from depletion, thinking that that's the thing to do because you're giving. No, where you, where you're taking care of yourself. I want to feel your power when you're giving to me too. Your presence. Right? Let's see. Um, so true, Coach. You taught me to be cautious about giving from depletion. Still working on taking care of me first. Come on, babe. Uh, let's see. You can't be a good person when you're neglecting oneself. Are you guys coming to Kansas City? Not sure. Oh, my God. Take care of you. Yes, I forgot about me to do for the Yes. Uh, three E's, experience, expertise, and expectations. Ooh, all right, Xavier. Um, Which.com, RonaBennett.com, myname.com. Uh, let's see, three words for Stephanie, loyalty, empathy, and love. Bless up. Thank you for the love on my launch and your support. Oh, very nice stuff. I'm looking forward to your next pieces, Kevin. Um, radio okay lobe says discipline focus and transparency Woo! powerful words discipline focus and transparency these three words are like whoa discipline if you have discipline in your life can you imagine what you would accomplish that means you're doing what you ought to do so that you can do what you want to do that's that's one thing you're being consistent discipline Woo! powerful word focus the people who are focused are winning more in life if you can focus and not be distracted get away from these weapons of mass distraction can you imagine what more you would accomplish transparency that means that you're going to show up honestly as who you are and operate from that space you're going to speak from that space you're going to be from that space that's a very that can be a very vulnerable place to live yet very powerful Woo. okay Taz says, Bev, three words, belief, focus, and finish. Yes, my move. Yes, I love your movement, Taz. Uh, love you back, Dominique. Thank you. Tarif says, how, how are you? Pray for my husband, Lord. Okay, sorry to hear that, honey. I know, uh, Mama, love you. You're my best. <laughs> I love you too, Nashua. Big fan. Thank you, Dominique. Hey, Rona. Say, hey, Kirsty. Thank you, darling. Depression will come knocking on your door. Come on, speak on it. Beverly, you already know. When you're giving from depletion like that, you are a female version Michelle. <laughs> okay, Dominique, I don't know what to say to that. Um, it, it, ambition, brains, and brawn, heart, and personality. All right, now. Okay. Gosh, you guys are speaking today. I love it. You're, you're like very communicative and supportive of one another. So... Shout out to 2019 on the heels of, of, of 2018. Like, it's coming, baby. It's, it's hawking. <laughs> it is on your back. What have you accomplished this year? Are you happy about what you've accomplished this year? Are you... Hmm, are you inspired? by who you've become this year, what more you've added to your arsenal, um, are you not? Have you taken some self-inventory so that you know where you are and if you want to make some shifts, if you need to make some shifts? Have you done that? 
It's very necessary. If you're looking for more success, if you're looking for more fulfilled living, because success looks different for everybody. Okay, some for some people, success is acquiring something. For other people, it's just having peace. Having more happiness, generating more joy. It may be something intangible. It may not have anything to do with anything monetary. It may not have anything to do with anything that, that requires a signi feeling significant. It may just be, can I just experience more peace? Can I experience more love? Can I, can I give more love? Can I be less unhappy? It could be something like that. So what does success look like to you? first let's figure that out write it down because guess what if you don't write stuff down you'll forget where you're going a lot of the times I just got through writing down the rest of my goals for 2018 because I know that there's so many things out here that can distract me from where what I say I'd like to have for myself so many of us can get caught in the hamster wheel of life just going in groundhog day repeat oh for the repeat the por favor <laughs> okay just repeat and repeat and repeat and because you're in a cycle because we're creatures of habit you don't even realize you've just jumped right back in the hamster wheel and you, you're going nowhere fast and you're not thinking about your goals you're not writing them down anywhere to remind you oh yeah let me get out of the let me come out of my little routine that's not bringing me any fulfillment let me come out of my routine that's that's not reminding me of what more i can become what more i'd like to experience about life what more i'd like to get out of life and or give to life let me come out of this hamster wheel so let me write some stuff down so i remember where i'm going let me give myself some roadmaps let me write my let this stuff down every single day so that my brain is trained to remember to go in the direction of where I say I want to go my brain is trained to pay attention to the things I wouldn't normally pay attention to just because I've heightened my awareness by writing it down how many of you are distracted because you're on social media all day or you're having like pointless conversations or you're doing some mindless web surfing just because they know how to get you clickbait whatever you know so you you're you're stuck in this little wheel you're forgetting what you're going you feel me? Come out of the hamster wheel. Write this stuff down every day. Do it in the morning if you need to until you get in the habit of being consistent about thinking about where you're going and what you're contributing and how you're being of service and what your legacy is. Have you even thought about that? What is your legacy? Do you even care? I mean, you don't have to. But do you care? What are you leaving behind in your wake? What kind of contribution would you like to make to life? You feel me like, what do you want this thing to mean to you? What do you want this thing to give to you? What do you want to give to life and what do you want to get What's the circulation here? Who are you becoming in order to, to have it or be it or do it? What habits do you have in your life that are supporting the you you need to become in order to do the things you say you want to do? Are you really doing the work? Or are you, are you thinking about it? Or are you talking about it? But you're not really doing the making the sacrifices necessary, making the, the, the commitment necessary to do it. Are you really changing the habits? Are you really scrambling your patterns in the morning so that you're not doing, you're not caught up in the same hamster wheel? Are you really doing it? Because that's what it takes. A lot of success is an inside job and it really starts with the self-work first and then you take the step towards the, the, the things that you need to do. Like sometimes you just got to get you prepped and ready. First, I don't know, sometimes, all the time, but <laughs> you need to get you prepped and ready and then take the step. But if you're stuck in old patterns, old habits, distracted life, how can it happen? How can it happen? Right? Like, be real with yourself. Because the only person you, you, you know, I, I love this statement that I heard years ago by um, 
Tyrese. He said, excuses only sound good to the person that's making them up. I was like, real talk, man. That's church. Excuses sound good to the person that's making them up. Well, and if that's the case, then that means that the things that the reasons you give or the excuses you give surrounding why you're not doing something only sounds good to you. Man. And once you realize that, that you know, then it's then, then it's up to you to make the change. There's another thing that I like that's going around that's a meme that cracks me up, but it's like it's it just checks me every time. It it could check anybody if you about the work. It's like nobody cares. Work harder. Mm. Nobody cares. Work harder. Isn't that interesting? So the, if, if excuses only sound good to the person that's making them up and nobody cares work harder, you ready to do the work? Because the change comes from you. The shift comes from your perspective. The shift comes from being willing to scramble your patterns. The shift comes from changing your habits. The shift comes from being consistent about that. The shift comes from writing your goals down or, or staying aware of your goals. The shift happens with you. And pointing fingers at everybody else, the shift happens with you. It only sounds good to the person that's making them up. What up, though, Brian? <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave y'all with that. Shout out to 2019 on your heels right now. Shout out to 2019 banging on your door. What have you accomplished this year, if anything? And if you haven't made more of your year, what decision can you make today? To accomplish at least one thing that you can be proud of or at least one thing that you can say at least I did that what thing is that and are you willing to take a step towards it today are you willing to put a deadline on that thing are you willing to put some action steps behind that thing and are you willing to put some deadlines on those action steps and are you willing to be consistent in the follow-through because guess what what do I always say follow through is your superpower That's it. Follow through is your superpower. So are you willing to choose to do something, to accomplish something before the end of 2019? If you're willing to do that, are you willing to write it down? Are you willing to write it down every single day when you start your morning instead of rolling over and picking up your phone or doing something, anything other than focusing on, focusing on just being? present to life letting that which created you download something new and fresh or just help you to release that which is which is already within you just being present to being you and then holding a vision holding the focus for where you what you choose to experience who you choose to become and then t taking the next step towards that are you willing to do that writing it down putting action steps behind that goal, putting deadlines on those action steps and following through and making it happen. You can do it. <laughs> Say it, low base. So you just got like a huge, huge tip for accomplishing your goal before 2019, right? Write it down. Put a deadline on that. Put some action steps behind it in order to get it done. Follow through. If you want individualized help, you can come and see me at RonaBennett.com. Check out and see if any of the coaching packages are interesting to you. I'm here. Or you can join Personal Power University when it comes back around. It's an amazing place. Or you can just get to it on your own and make it happen. 
Will you do it? I just wrote down my goals last night, you guys. I got things to do too. I'm like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, Lord. But I got to do it. I'm pushing myself anyway to do it because I'd like to see it done. And I, and I know that once I get that out, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be building on my legacy. It's going to help other people. I'm being of service. I get to accomplish a lot of goals in one place. Come on, guys. All right. Shout out to Morning Talks of Growth. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for um, being supportive to each other. And I guess I'll see you guys next week, yeah? Until then. Bless up.